Hey, I'm Laura. Just quickly, we here at Grit TV are proud to bring you independently produced content every day. Now it's your chance to help us. Grit TV has been offered a $100,000 challenge grant. Every dollar you give right now between now and June 30th is worth $3 to us. We've only got a few more weeks to meet the match. Will you help? You can donate at our website, grittv.org. Meanwhile, enjoy this clip. Finally, a picture is worth a thousand words, they say, but what those words are apparently depends a lot, in the American media at least, on pre-existing official attitudes. Take the picture of Neda Aga Soltan. Last year, she became the face of Iranian resistance after a YouTube clip circulated showing her tragic death. Well, quickly, everybody was talking about the power of citizen journalism, and Neda became the symbol of democratic longings slain by anti-Western tyrants. Fast forward to the Israeli assault on the Gaza flotilla, and gone is the talk of the truth-telling power of citizen journalism. In its place, a very different frame, organizers armed with video. Both sides were well-armed with video cameras, writes Brian Stelter in the New York Times. Organizers, quote, chose to make their trip to Gaza a media event, he quotes a source, saying, as if that somehow made them suspect. It all amounts to what he calls a, quote, war of images by the two sides. In fact, it amounted to nine civilians dead, at least one shot in the head multiple times by elite Israeli commandos in international waters. It's hard to imagine any similar article appearing were the killers, say, Iranian. What's missing from the videos is context, writes Stelter. Could it be that what's actually missing from this debate might be even-handed coverage and logic? 